From a staff strength of about 1,000 barely two years ago, the company's staff strength has been slashed to 600. The remaining 600 have now been asked to go home. They will only show up at work when raw materials are available for production. Half of the 600 workers are permanent staff with a take home less than 600 Ghana cities, whereas the other half are contract workers with a take home of 300 Ghana cities. When City News visited the facility this afternoon, the staff there comprising management and security were less than 30. The factory looked almost deserted as one could barely hear the sound of a machine and the entire factory premises was quiet. Some workers City News interacted with on condition of anonymity noted that workers' salary have been in arrears for four months out of which two months, July and August, have been paid. Efforts to talk to the human resource manager, Jimai Mautin, proved futile as she was not ready to talk to the media except to send the chief security officer to refute the claims made in the media. Behind me is the Akosombo Textiles Limited. If you come here, the place is as quiet as the cemetery. But 600 workers have been sent home for the past two weeks. And officials here are tight-lipped on the matter. They have refused to explain or to say a word to the media. For City News, Elvis Washington reporting from Akosombo.